Hey, are you Brian? Yes. Hey, I'm Christina. I'm from the leasing office. I'm just trying to find out what's going on. I just got a call from the police then that you called and said that my maintenance guy was coming over, but he had a gun and you were afraid? No, it's, it's gun threats. Gun threats. From my maintenance guy? Not a maintenance guy. Um, someone was up there in the section of where I live in here. Like at the ceiling area. I'm thinking that, you know, that was the access point, that door right yeah, there. Yeah, nobody can get up there. Nobody can get up there. And there's no space up there. And I know maintenance has already, and management has already told you that, that nobody's up there. I'm just concerned because I got a call from the police department that you made the statement that my maintenance guy was coming over and he had a gun. No, that's a misunderstanding. He didn't have a gun. I'm saying people in my attic area probably do. Nobody in the attic area. Then is there another possible way they could have entered no, the building, the no, infrastructure sir. whatsoever? There is not. No. There is not. And I understand this is an ongoing issue um, with calling the police as well as the issues with people upstairs in the attic. I can't, my concern is for my maintenance guys. I can't have um, that false information going around um, that they are on the property with guns. Mm. Really, really? So you never seen anyone on the property with a gun before on this property? I said my maintenance Oh, guys. maintenance guy. No, no, not them. Um, did you um, receive an email that I sent you? Because I sent you something. Today? I received me an email this morning. Um, we were recording just some people out in the area here. Yeah, it, was a, it was a lot of things going on here. Yeah. Well, I, I'm, I can't Definitely can't have you making false accusations against my maintenance guy. And it's not, I'm, oh, no, I'm not making it against them. I talk about the neighbors. If anything, I have a problem with the neighbors. Okay. Well, um. I was, I was wondering if there was any way we could get together so I could talk to them directly because they refuse the neighbors because they refuse to talk to me directly in a respectful manner. Talk to them about why they're doing what they're doing to me, harassment. Um, I, I don't know anything about that, unfortunately, um, but I just wanted to make sure that the accusations can't continue with my maintenance guy, because they have a job to do. I understand. Well, I'm willing to work with you um, with whatever problems that may be going on with them, but um, I need someone to communicate with me more, because not many people have been doing that lately. What do you mean communicate with you? If it's anything that has to do with your household? You can communicate with me. Um, I can't discuss anybody else with you or what happened in their household. Um, we can only talk about what's happening in yours. Because it could be a problem with um, what they're doing in their apartment that could be affecting me. Just for example, a reasonable accommodation could be made for allergic reactions to whatever chemicals they may be using, whether it's cleaning chemicals or whatever that but I can I sense. Move you the thing, if it's chemicals they're cleaning with, if I move you to a different apartment, which I can't because I don't have any vacant units, um, who's to say the person, the next neighbor is going to use chemicals to clean? Everybody use chemicals to clean. Are you allergic to the chemicals or? Well, that could be a particular chemical that's giving me a negative reaction that's giving me, getting me more irritated easily. Yeah, I'm not sure. Um, okay. Um, I just need to make sure the accusations against my maintenance guys stop today. Uh, what, did, what exactly did they say that I said to them? You said that maintenance was coming over to your apartment and the maintenance guy had a gun with him. Uh, that was misinformation. Someone misunderstood that. I got a call from the officer you talked to um, earlier today. Yes. You called in earlier today? Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. And she tried to call you back. The officer tried to call you back, but you didn't answer. I didn't answer? She said she didn't get an answer. Well, I, 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 do, I do realize that there's a possibility that my signals are being blocked somehow as well. Because I even caught type my mom, she lives in Alta Vista. And sometimes her signals don't get through like it should. Yeah, I, I, that may be something with your phone company, whoever your phone provider is. Maybe because my phone hasn't been working that well either because yeah, of that. You may reach out, want to reach out to your phone provider. But I'm, I'm just telling you that all my equipment are very new, even though I got it. Um, well, if it's not working correctly and you think you're missing calls or something's going on, you may need to reach out to your service provider. Nobody, they have to have your information to um, access your account. I just wanted to stop by and just make sure we were straight as far as my maintenance guys.
But you have um, checked most of them. I know it's impossible to check all of it that quickly, but check what? email. Anything I sent to you, just to look over, at least look at it. Consider what that. What am I Am I looking for something specific? Events that happen that could be threatening to me or anyone that lives in this area. You have particular events you're speaking about? Uh, that's that's what I'm talking about. What I sent like, you. I've seen the videos. I've seen you. Uh, you seen all of Recording them? people out the window. I even seen you recording me um, the other day. Have you seen all the videos I sent no, you? No, I haven't seen all the videos. Okay. Is something specific in the videos. It's because I have a lot of work to do and I can't just sit and watch videos. If it's something specific that you want me to see, let me know which video it's in and I'll take a look at it. But I can't spend all day combing through videos of you recording people here in the breezeways or in the area out here. Well, if you haven't seen it, um, the particular ones would be the riots. That is very extreme. That was so what actually is it? street fighting riots, the riots. And you see, um, when I add... When was that? When did that have, take place? Very recently, during the pandemic, but... This, this month? Last month? Months back. Yeah, well, that's something that Monica would have dealt with or should have dealt with then. Um, if it's not happening right now at this current time, there's really nothing I can do about it. Um, I am here. We're going to move forward. We're not going to go backwards. We're going to move forward, and hopefully things can kind of smooth out. Else I'm going to have to, um, you know, take some other action because police are kind of irritated with you keep calling. And I'm it's irritated not, too. And it's not an emergency matter. It is to me. It is to me. Okay. But you're calling them and they don't, they're, they're coming out and they're getting here and it's not an emergency matter. It's not where it's, someone is being assaulted. Or, they talk to me by the phone. I haven't even seen an officer come up here yet, you know, physically. Okay, well, if you need them to come, you're more than welcome to call them back. Um, but they are, you know, it, it's going to become a nuisance call. A nuisance call. If you keep calling them and it's not a real emergency, it will become a nuisance call. Okay, I didn't want to call the 911 to begin with, but I felt that I needed to because the, the tech support agent I was calling from the Lynchburg City site uh, demanded that I should call. So I went ahead and did That's probably um, because of whatever reason is you told them that you, you needed to call. It was, it was a, a conspiracy of Berkeley going on because... Someone breaking into your apartment? They're stealing information. They're tracking me. I, I mean, if there was, um, let's just say there was just directly a drug problem. If there was a drug problem and somebody needed help mentally and they somehow found a way to get in the building, um, how you would you have... Building? Get in this building? Yes, get into this building, but it was in a way that nobody so else knew. So the building knew. is it's open breezeway. They can't... I understand. They tell you that there's no way to get in, but if they found, theoretically, a way to get in, what would you do about no, it? No, it's not possible. There's, not a, they, there's no other way for anybody to get in the building. Anything is possible. Anything is but, possible. You're absolutely right. Well, again, I just need to make sure my maintenance guys are safe and the accusations, the false accusations against them need to stop. I'm not, I'm not threatening them. They didn't do anything right, wrong. Right, not that you threatened them, but you made the statement to the police that they had a gun. And that's false. I know it's a misunderstanding because I'm right, just, well, I remember when I, when, I, when I spoke to them, I was speaking of what Monica told me. She told me that the only people that have access to that area is the maintenance. And I said it was a, she said it was business hours. They're only able to stay there business hours to do work. Maintenance really doesn't have a need to go up in the attic area. It's not an area where you can stand up. It's not an area. So I'm, I'm, I don't know. I just need for it to stop as far as my maintenance guys, okay? I understand. Thank you. Have a good one. You too.